Hello everyone, and welcome back to the series where I talk about some trivia on the Japanese culture or language and some nuances that were lost in the translation from the Japanese audio to the English subtitles of an anime. In this case, for the second episode of Onimai. When Mihaly talks about hair being a crucial part of our self-expression, the Japanese expression used was Kamiwa onna no inochi, literally Hair is a girl's life. It probably doesn't really have a deeper meaning behind the expression, but I still did a bit of research for the fun of it. And some says that since hair continue growing and regenerating even after you cut or pull them out, it was seen as a sign of vitality and longevity. And girls that could grow hair very fast and long were thought to have a lot of spiritual power. It's even thought that this custom of trying to grow long hair goes back to the Jomon period. In the public bath scene, we can briefly see a yellow plastic container with Kerolin written on it. This is something that is really common to find in bathhouse. Kerolin was actually the name of a headache painkiller from a drug manufacturer. The company wanted to find a way to advertise their product. For the Tokyo Olympics of 1964, and they came up with the idea of making buckets using bathhouse that were still pretty common to use in that time period. It was also at a point where people were thinking about changing the previous wood bucket to a more hygienic one in plastic. And let's just say that it was a really big hit, for the bucket at least, and we still see them everywhere. This scene might have confused some people, but toward the end of the episode, when Mihaly suggests Mahilo to some ready meal of red beans over rice, and he then reacts strongly against it, it has to do with red beans with rice being seen in Japanese culture as a food eaten on special occasions to celebrate something. It was also a custom to eat it when a girl would have their first menstrual cycle, to celebrate them beginning their transition to womanhood. For the observant people, you might have seen on a wall of the public bath a paper saying Before batting, wash your butt, please keep in mind. This wasn't something added by the translators, and it pretty much corresponds to the Japanese counterpart beside it. That's all for this episode, and you know what to do. Like this video to let me in YouTube know if you want more of those type of videos. Comment about the things that you found the most interesting or surprising and also on what other series you would like me to cover. And of course, subscribe if you want to have more chance seeing when I upload more stuff. Anyway, it's the end of this video, and I'll see you next week.